Yeah. Nancy's going to demonstrate. <laughs> so, two fundamental skills in gymnastics are the handstand and the press handstand. They have many different applications and they are difficult to do. So, we're going to break down the skill, uh, starting with the press handstand. For the first drill in learning your press and breaking it down, you're going to be sitting down just like Nancy is with your hips all the way touching your heels. You want your hands to be behind your knees. The wrong way or maybe a way to also make this drill easier is to put your hands in front of your knees. So Nancy, can you show that? We'll show this way first. It's not necessarily the wrong way, but it definitely makes this drill easier. So if you need to make this drill easier, this is a good place to start. Hands here, and then Nancy's just gonna keep her hands there and lift her hips up towards the sky, and then bring them down. Good. And then as you get better at that, your goal is to bring your hands behind your knees. Good. And then you're gonna push into the floor, lifting your hips, keeping the chest close to the legs, and then coming down. Awesome. Learn how to put tension on the wrists and shoulders. We're gonna be practicing hip rotation with this next drill. Nancy's starting with her hands flat on the wall, lying down, and she's gonna straddle her legs, go ahead, all the way to the wall, keeping her knees straight, and then she's gonna straddle down. Good, try that one more time with your knees straighter, please. Straddling from the floor up to the wall, and then straddling down, and this mimics the exact same hip rotation that you'll do when your body is inverted into a handstand, into a press handstand. Hi everybody, so for our next press drill, this is more for team, but it is still a safe drill and everybody is welcome to try it. You're gonna need a rope. You can get creative if you don't have a rope like this. You can even use a shoelace. Nancy, if you have a band, bands work great as well. So whatever you have, um, I'm gonna be demonstrating with a rope and how I like to tie it is I make, I kind of fold my rope in half and then I loop my rope through and I start pulling it until I have about enough space, um, maybe a little bit more narrow than my shoulders. So chest width apart and then with the extra rope, I wrap around and I make a knot. And then from there I do that once more. And then if you feel like the rope is too small, you can widen your circle. Find what works for you. This part is easier to do with a partner, but you can definitely do it by yourself. You're gonna push the rope down until it's midway down towards your head, as you see here. This way it keeps your shoulders open, and then you're gonna place your feet shoulder width apart, starting with a press. You're gonna lower down, placing your hands on the floor, and then you're just gonna lift your hips up, try to get your toes up, and then you go back to stand. That's one. You go into your next one. 10 times. So Nancy's gonna demonstrate now with a band. If you don't have a rope, you can use a band or you can use a ribbon. You can use a shoelace, as Coach Sarah said. Make sure that you push the band or the rope, whatever you're using, push it down and behind your head. Now we're going to put the full press together. You can do this with the band still behind your head, but I also like to practice gaze. So without the band, you'll be able to bring your head out just a little bit so that you can keep your gaze in between your fingertips. So when I put my hands down, I put my gaze right here. And then I'm going to lean into the wall. If you have a door, this will work here too. And then you want to keep your feet close to your body. You don't want them to go out there because then you're going to fall. So keep your feet close, straddle up. And then 
and straddle down. Okay, so Nancy's gonna demonstrate the full press so you guys can see what this skill looks. She's gonna start with her feet apart, hands on the floor, and then she's gonna lift her hips, her hips drive the legs.